I played the Christian game. I went to church every Sunday, tithed, made myself read my Bible. I sung on a worship team, volunteered at the nursery, went on mission trips, and I, I did it well. I, I achieved that goal. And I was so confused. Why do I still feel so empty? Deep down, I think the Lord was speaking to my heart and telling me that there was more. I would lay in bed at night, maybe even from the age of five or six, and I'd think about the day and all the things that I'd done right and if I had gotten in trouble, anything from just disobeying my parents, forgetting to do chores, or a disapproving tone from a teacher, and think, oh, I should have said this, and I should have said that, and I, I wasn't perfect in this, and just kind of beat myself up. I didn't have just one group of friends. I had lots, and I would just float around. I was constantly seeking their approval, their affirmation. So on the outside, someone could come up to me and say, great job, or you did so good. So I'd be like, oh, thank you, you are so sweet. And then inside, I'd be like, they don't mean it. Why do they say that? Why do they feel the need to come up to me? They couldn't possibly mean that. What did I not do right? With God too, I could see other people and see God's hand on their life or favor. And for some reason, I felt like I was exempt from that. I made them for my purposes and, and they're fearfully and wonderfully made. But Karen, you just have to work a little bit harder. There's something not right with you. I could close my eyes and think, okay, what would the Karen without shame look like? She's free to figure out what God wants for her life without the entanglements and the weights and the burdens of, I could never because I would screw it up. And I would get glimpses of what that would be and then, oh, no, 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 that, that won't happen. That's silly. Karen, that's prideful. It's as if I was in this cage of shame and fear, and I just said, well, fine, I'll dig my heels in and I'll stay, and sure, I'll put up curtains, and I'll just light a candle. I'll just get used to this, because this is how life is. There's no way that I can be free from this. I am doomed to feel like a failure for the rest of my life, so just get used to it, Karen. In college, I had a friend named Kanisha. Kanisha was confronting me by calling out the inconsistencies in my life, that in one moment I was encouraging and telling other people that Jesus loved them and wasn't really believing the words that I was saying. She pointed out my cage, and she just got in the trenches with me. She would text me and call me. Every time I had a, a negative thought towards myself, I had to write it down. And I had to report to her at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, I didn't want to. I was okay with my life being like this. But she wasn't. For the first time, I was trying to hear what God wanted for my life. And where my journals were full of, why did you do this, Karen? And how could you have messed up? For the first time, I was just asking him, how do you see me? Or even just, hi, it's me. I feel like I messed up again. When I finally got real with the Lord and said, I need your help, I can't do this anymore. The Lord said, you've always had my love. You never had to work for it and it brought such freedom and joy, deep joy that I had never felt, that I didn't have to work for it anymore. It was like the first deep breath that I'd ever taken in my whole life. One day, something happened that I failed at, messed up, 
that normally, years ago, would have sent me into a tailspin. And I was just like, well, God can fix this. It's gonna be okay. And in that moment, I realized and kind of looked back and I wasn't in that cage anymore. Struggling with shame, self-hatred, it's something that I know that my mind is tempted with. It's just a journey of getting quicker at turning to Jesus. If you feel how I felt, you're not alone. And not just because I've been there, but because Jesus is with you. And he just wants you to know that he loves you just as much as he loves me. You can trust him. You can trust him with your heart because our God is a good God and he made you and he loves you. Take a chance on Jesus.